Hey everyone, this is Rachel and welcome to another scrapbooking process video. If you hang out until after the video is through, there are always detailed shots of my current layout. Let's get going! Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Lift and Sketch with Christy and Rachel. Today, Christy and I are using The Sketch You Just Saw by Lisa, I want to say Heidi. I, I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but I hope. Um, <laughs> uh, this is from sketchandstamp.blogspot.com. I think that's what it's called. I found it on Pinterest, but I will put a link to the description box below. I don't know if it's an active blog or not. Uh, for this layout, it calls for two vertical four by sixes. I'm actually adding in a couple of smaller photos as well, uh, but I'm sure it'll work out good. I'll get the basics of the sketch. I'm also going to be working with my Secret Not Secret Kit Club kit that I purchased a couple of months ago. It is filled with Paige Evans for Pink Paisley uh, Whimsical line. I couldn't remember the name of the line off the top of my head. And uh, I have not worked with this before. I, I purchased it and then I you know, lovingly petted it and then I put it aside because that's what I do. All right, folks, make sure you head on over to Christy's channel, check out her take on this sketch and see what she did with it. Let's get going, folks. We'll look through it, as I said, I have not worked with it before, so uh, I need to take a gander. I had, like I said, I had opened it up and looked at the things that came in it, but I hadn't necessarily like looked closely at the papers and stuff like that. So I'm gonna kind of go through and see what's gonna work with this particular sketch. I will say, this is one of those where I start off having it look like the sketch, so the background looks like the sketch, but that's it. <laughs> I kind of am inspired by how everything's looking, so I'm like, oh hey, I'm gonna completely forget to check back with the sketch and just go my own way, which is fine. A sketch can be followed, um, like step by step, or it can just be an inspiration. So you'll see I was showing you I'm using paper two. That is the multicolor, very, very skinny chevroni type lines. And then I'm also going to use this paper here. Now I had thought to use the other side, um, 14, which is this uh, diagonal stripe in a coral color and then when I saw what the giant floral piece which I probably uh, I'm not a huge giant floral person I'll use them occasionally but not usually when I flipped it over and saw how it looked in tiny strips I was kind of like ooh, I like that <laughs> so instead I am going to use the diagonal stripe piece as a mat for both of my photos now I'm going to spend an inordinate amount of time trying to figure out where to glue the second photo down because this is one of those things where it's it bothers me. Um, it might not bother you, but for me on my paper, all of my diagonal stripes have to go in the same direction, otherwise it drives me bonkers. So what I was trying to do was seeing if I could fit it over there, basically just to save as much paper as possible, and then I realized you're being a crazy person, just do it this way. There's plenty of paper in the world, you won't go. You won't, you won't like have no paper left, I promise you. <laughs> So now I'm just trimming my mats down so I can go ahead and place my photos. And I'm liking the way this is looking, and this is pretty much all I get from the sketch. Um, but I'm thinking the part in the center is looking really stark. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my mists. And right now I've got Mango Tango, Princess, and Jenny B. Blue. I'm switching out my usual yellow for purple this time around. And all I'm going to do is spritz a bit on my background. It's gonna look really heavy without the photos and papers and all of that. But once I get all of that down, it's barely going to be noticeable. It's just going to be a little thing in the background. Now I decided to go ahead and take out my little heat gun um, because I wanted to keep going rather than, because normally what I do when I start doing 
mixed media is I spray it and then I use that time to go and do some chores. This particular time I really only had like 45 minutes to an hour to craft so I knew I wanted to go ahead and use my heat gun. I'm going ahead and sprinkling the same three colors over. I like doing that when I do spraying or the packaging technique because it just offers two different tones of the same color um, but using the same colors, just the concentration of the sprinkles as opposed to a spray provides that multiple color look without using multiple colors. So I'm going to go ahead and get my papers glued down. Uh, I have mentioned in another video, I am still using the same ATG tape and I'm having the hardest time with it. I don't normally have an issue, but for some reason, it doesn't want, it wants to stick to the roll rather than stick to my paper, which is super annoying. And I don't know if it's because it's like the winter months and it's very cold and my ATG is too cold, which it could be because uh, where I'm scrapbooking right now, which is in my dining room, it is the coldest room in the house. So I think I might have just talked myself into realizing what the issue is. So I'm thinking maybe I need to store my ATG somewhere else when I'm not using it because it's always uh, like if I'm making multiple foot layouts by the second layout it's fine so I think my using it is warming it up or I'm talking crazy talk who knows all right so I've got my photos placed and as I said you know I'm I'm making my photos opposite of the layout I'm using more photos than in the original sketch and you know that's fine you can always do that you can always make the sketch your own or make the sketch work for you uh so you can definitely see the sketch in my layout but i'm obviously not copying it section by section by element by element so now i've got my photos placed i'm moving on to embellishing I have the 6x12 stickers, I have a partial set of die cuts, and I've decided to go ahead and use all of the clouds in both of those. I am not a cloud lover in the embellishment land. Uh, I am also not a cloud hater. Uh, for those of you who have watched my videos for a long time, you may know of my of the speech bubble embellishment. Um, <laughs> I, I They do not fall into speech bubble land for me. They're just kind of meh for me. So usually when they are an element in a line, I try to use them all at once. Um, just that way they're out of my stash and I don't feel that I'm wasting them. And like I said, I really love the way they look on this layout. I think they are great. It's just, they're not my go-to. My go-to would be stars and hearts and arrows. Um, so I finished my title using the mini thickers that came with the whimsical set and came in my Secret Not Secret Kit Club kit. And now I'm finishing off with some enamel dots, also from Whimsical, and then these puffy hearts, which are actually from the Amy Tan Shine On collection. I'm going to finish up this layout with some journaling, just talking about the night out, visiting a new ice cream place. We also, also went out for some yummy tacos beforehand, and that was super fun. I'm using the lines from the Chevron for that, and uh, that's going to be my layout. Make sure you head on over and check out Christy's take on this sketch, and uh, have a great day, everyone. Bye!